Introduction, Sanford and Son, a timeless American television sitcom that first aired in 1972, remains a beloved classic in the hearts of viewers across generations. This iconic series revolves around the hilarious misadventures of a junk dealer named Fred G. Sanford and his son, Lamont, as they navigate the ups and downs of their unconventional father-son relationship. Set in the Watts neighborhood of Los Angeles, the show skillfully blends humor, heart, and cultural insights, making it a truly memorable experience for its audience. Why was Sanford and Son so popular? There are several reasons for its enduring success. Firstly, it broke new ground by featuring African-American characters in leading roles during a time when representation on television was limited. The show provided a fresh perspective on the African-American experience, showcasing the everyday struggles and triumphs of a working-class family, which resonated with a wide audience. Secondly, the sitcom boasted a stellar cast, led by the incomparable Red Fox as Fred G. Sanford. His impeccable comedic timing and witty one-liners were the driving force behind the show's humor. Lamont, portrayed by Demond Wilson, brought a perfect balance to the father-son duo, reacting to Fred's antics with equal parts exasperation and affection. The chemistry between Fox and Wilson was undeniable, elevating the show to new comedic heights. Additionally, the series featured a talented supporting cast, including LaWanda Page as Aunt Esther Anderson, Fred's fiery and no-nonsense sister-in-law, and Whitman Mayo as Grady Wilson, Fred's loyal and lovable friend. Their dynamic interactions with the main characters added depth and charm to the already delightful sitcom. Perhaps one of the main reasons Sanford and Son is etched into the cultural memory is its ability to capture the essence of family relationships and the humor that arises from even the most challenging situations. The show tackled relatable themes of love, friendship, and generational differences, creating a connection with viewers that transcended time and cultural barriers. Now, let's take a trip down memory lane. Do you have any fond recollections of Sanford and Son? Whether it's Fred's famous catchphrases, Lamont's eye-rolling reactions, or the comical encounters with their quirky neighbors, this show left an indelible mark on television history. In conclusion, Sanford and Son remains a classic TV series cherished for its humor, its authentic representation, and its unforgettable characters. The comedic genius of Red Fox and the stellar ensemble cast made it a joy to watch, leaving a lasting impact on popular culture. So, if you're in the mood for some nostalgic laughter, fire up those old episodes and relive the charm of Sanford and Son. Take a nostalgic journey back to the 1970s, where television thrived with vibrant shows. Among them, Sanford and Son stood out with its humor, wit, and unforgettable characters. This classic sitcom, debuting in 1972, followed the lives of Fred G. Sanford and his son, Lamont, who owned a junkyard in bustling Los Angeles, leading to comedic clashes and adventurous moments. At the heart of the show was the iconic theme song, the Street Beater, written by the illustrious Quincy Jones. Its upbeat and catchy melody instantly transported viewers into the world of Sanford and Son, setting the stage for laughter and entertainment. The Street Beater perfectly captured the essence of the show's energy and humor. With its blend of jazz, funk, and soul, the composition mirrored the dynamic urban setting and eclectic characters, enhancing the overall viewing experience. Decades later, the theme song still resonates with fans, evoking fond memories of the beloved sitcom. It remains a testament to the lasting impact of Sanford and Son. So, the next time you find yourself humming along to the street beater, remember the joy it brought and the musical brilliance of Quincy Jones. In the world of 1970s television, the sitcom Sanford and Son stood out as a shining gem. Red Fox and La Wanda Page, lifelong friends, showcased undeniable chemistry on screen. La Wanda's portrayal of Esther almost didn't happen due to doubts about her experience. Red's unwavering belief in her talent saved the day. Their performances as Fred and Esther Sanford became iconic, fueled by a genuine friendship off-screen. Sanford and Son became more than a sitcom. It reflected true camaraderie and the beauty of friendship. Their enduring bond left an indelible mark on television history, a masterpiece of comedy and a tribute to genuine friendship. Sanford and Son's legacy will forever celebrate Red Fox and La Wanda Page's remarkable friendship. In 1972, Sanford and Son became an iconic and beloved TV show.
Portrayed by Demond Wilson and Nathaniel Taylor, Lamont Sanford and Rollo Lawson's chemistry brought laughter and warmth to our living rooms. Fred G. Sanford, played by Red Fox, and his son Lamont's interactions were the heart of the show, with Rollo adding humor. Surprisingly, off-camera, Wilson revealed that he and Taylor didn't get along. After the show ended in 1977, they lost touch. Despite personal differences, their on-screen friendship remained convincing, a testament to their professionalism. They were often high while filming, adding complexity to the behind-the-scenes dynamics. Sanford and Son's enduring impact on audiences stems from the talent of the actors, quality writing, and the show's magic. It holds a special place in our hearts for the humor it brought and the human stories behind it. Despite the show's legacy, the off-screen reality highlights the complexities of the entertainment world. As we remember the brilliance of Sanford and Son, we celebrate the enduring performances of Demond Wilson and Nathaniel Taylor. Their on-screen characters will forever be etched in our hearts. Let's raise a glass to the magic of television and the enduring legacy of unforgettable characters. And with that, the intriguing behind-the-scenes tale of Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son, a timeless classic sitcom that premiered in 1972, left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. Led by Red Fox as Fred G. Sanford and Demond Wilson as his son Lamont, the show's humor, heart, and social commentary captivated viewers. However, after six successful seasons, Fox departed for his own variety show, leaving Wilson as the lead. Amidst a salary dispute with Wilson, the show rebranded as Sanford Arms but struggled to recapture the magic. The absence of the original cast led to a dwindling fan base, and after just eight episodes, the spin-off bid farewell to television screens. In contrast, Sanford and Son's legacy endures as a brilliant sitcom that pushed comedic boundaries while resonating with diverse audiences. The show's exceptional storytelling, memorable characters, and superb performances remain etched in our hearts. Sanford Arms may have faltered, but the true essence of Sanford and Son continues to evoke laughter and nostalgia. In conclusion, the journey of Sanford and Son and Sanford Arms is a testament to the power of outstanding sitcoms and their lasting impact on viewers. Step into the lively world of 1970s TV with Sanford and Son, a classic sitcom that captured hearts and made history. Fred G. Sanford, played by Red Fox, is the lovable yet stubborn heart of the show, sprinkling humor and wisdom with his famous catchphrase, You Big Dummy. Alongside him is his patient son Lamont, portrayed by Demond Wilson. Their dynamic and comedic antics resonated with audiences from all walks of life, transcending racial boundaries. Sanford and Son's charm extended to the supporting cast, including Grady Wilson and Ann Esther, adding layers of laughter. Creators Norman Lear and Bud Yorkin deftly blended humor with social commentary, addressing important issues of the time. Throughout its run, the show remained a fan favorite, celebrating the strength of family bonds while exploring social issues through comedy. Decades later, Sanford and Son continues to be cherished, reminding us of the enduring magic of television. This iconic sitcom and its unforgettable moments will forever hold a place in our hearts.